What's up guys, my name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do so. Hit that notification bell button as well so that you're aware every time I upload a brand new hair video. So let's go ahead and get into this video right now. So let's go ahead and talk about reasons why you might be killing your hair. I know, I know you're freaking out and you think you're losing your hair like your car is burning oil. What you have to understand is that hair loss to complete baldness does not actually happen overnight. So the fact that you're shedding hair can actually mean that you might be doing a bad hair routine or you probably don't have one at all. That's why today we're going to talk through some reasons why you actually might be killing your hair. The first thing is shampooing. A lot of people are confused about how you should shampoo. Should you massage it some way? Should you wash it only with cold water? And should it take 10 minutes to do so? The first thing that we need to address is that, yes, you should and can wash your hair with warm water. It not only feels good, but it actually opens up the pores and absorbs the good things in your shampoo and conditioner. The ingredients need to soak in. Now, switching to cold water after your routine is done is such a good idea and it definitely feels good, especially if you're using a minty shampoo routine. Remember that when you're using shampoo, please make sure you're massaging gently side to side in a side to side motion and don't be too rough. If you do a circular rough motion, this won't help and it could actually make your hair a little bit more tangled and harder to brush out after you're done showering. This could also cause a lot of breakage and split ends. Overall, it'll just cause some unhealthy hair. The next thing is you're probably using the wrong hairbrush. When it comes to choosing the right hairbrush, this totally depends on your actual hair type. If you have straight, fine hair, you're very safe to use a nice ceramic round brush comb as it has a little bit more slip and will also gently smooth out your hair. If you have more of a wavy to curly hair type, you will need a very natural bristle brush that can smoothly release that curl with a little bit more tension. And what you're gonna get with a natural brush is when you blow dry, it won't heat up the brush the way the ceramic brush will, meaning that it won't fry your hair. And this means less fridge and less breakage, meaning more healthy hair. The next thing is you're probably using too many different hair products. I know it's hard to skip over that new hair product ad and you want to get it today, but the reality is you're probably overflowing with different products in your medicine cabinet and that's a little bit of an issue because the reality is that you have to treat your hair the way you treat your face and it should definitely be treated the same way. And what I mean is when you're introducing your skin to a brand new routine, it takes a little bit of time to cycle in and your skin to get used to it. So it may cause a little bit of breakouts, you may, cause a, it may, you may experience a little bit of dry and irritated skin, and that's exactly the way our scalp is going to react with all these products you're putting in your hair. So I highly advise you to cut down on the different types of products you're using. Stick to one. Generally, I style my hair the same way every single day, and I like a very matte finish and I like a really pliable product. So I'm using the Chapter Hair Styling Cream that allows a versatile hairstyle with a matte finish with a very good hold. By using the same product every single day, I'm balancing my scalp follicles and essentially training my hair how to handle and ingest the ingredients in my product. Lastly, you probably don't have a hair routine on lock, and this is very important. Think of this as your car. You need a maintenance plan, and without one, you're not gonna get most of your vehicle, and it might cause irreplaceable and costly damage. So that's why I'm gonna give you a nice hair routine for frizzy and dry hair. While blow drying, use a heat protectant. Use this, this will actually act as a seat belt, if you will, and will protect your hair from drying out and breaking, which causes a messy frizz if you don't do it. Second, incorporate a moisturizer two to three times a week, and this will actually help feed your hair follicles and keep them extremely healthy. I like to use a smoothing lotion for frizz control that is packed with vitamin E and a UV protectant to keep frizz and fly away hairs away. So guys, these are simple reasons that you that may have a negative effect on your hair. So make sure you look into your current hair routine and fix it, adjust it, make some changes, and overall just have fun and style your hair cool. So I'm also currently working on a 
lotion for frizz and a heat protectant as well. These are the two samples that I have right here and it's actually a new product line from Chapter and we're also working on a hair pomade. So make sure you're following Chapter Hair on Instagram or stop by chapterhair.com to check out our latest website update plus our brand new blog post. While you're there, sign up with your email so I could keep you in the loop of new release on the new release dates and also an awesome newsletter where we are currently rolling out where essentially I'm curating a closet for you to shop and add to your wardrobe. And they're actually gonna be sick deals where you guys could get some sick clothes that are actually on sale or that are get, or the company's giving me a special promotion to share with you guys. So overall, just a really cool deal on that newsletter. But I'm excited to roll out these brand new products, guys. And essentially, with Chapter, you'll see a really sick line where everything works in conjunction with one another so that you could have a really sick hair routine. And clean out that medicine cabinet, make space for some fragrances, and have products that actually work really well to keep your hair healthy and you won't have to worry about much after that. So thank you guys for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. I hope you guys have a good week. And also, and let me know what your current hair type is, if it's curly, if it's wavy, if it's straight. And also, if you have any issues with it, comment down below and I'll try to help you out. And also, maybe someone will read the comments and, comments and also help you out because you're all going through the same thing. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Follow me at Bicolor if you want to see more of me on Instagram. I will see you guys very soon. No product were tested on this animal, I promise you. Bye.